it's Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and it's glad you're still with us. Our guest today is Katie Sullivan. You probably remember her from My Name is Earl. She played Tiffany Hansen. You may not have realized, though, that she is a bilateral amputee. You were not playing an amputee, no. which is so very nice in a lot of ways. And I wanted to bring you on to talk about your um, tremendous triumphs in the world of acting as well as the world of athletics. Absolutely. Talk to me. Thanks for having please, me. Please, please, please. Um, no, it's just been, it's been a really interesting uh, life that I have lived already. <laughs> I love already. how you say it. I love how you say it. It's, it almost sounds like I'm lying at times. <laughs> and you were born without legs. I mean, it's that simple. Yes. It Above was, the knees. Absolutely. I have uh, my full femurs, but they just did not grow. And it's not as if they're feet. It's just yep. done. It was just like, they were like, we're finished. And we're we good. Are, and <laughs> so since the age of one, you have had prosthetics. Mm -hmm. You don't have a spinal injury, so they can teach you how to walk, and they did. Mm -hmm. But they also taught you how to run. It's really, it's mm -hmm. been fascinating because I have been using prosthetic legs to walk my entire life, but I never had the experience of running, even as a child, because the, technology, the yeah. technology just wasn't there. Oh, I see, I see. And so um, it was actually, I was about 25 when I was kind of given uh, it was through hanger prosthetics and orthotics. I was given a pair of running feet to just try and see what was going to happen. And apparently it went well because you are a world-class Paralympian. Literally. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I'll boast for you. Thank you. You are the national champion in the 100 meter. You won that last uh, June. You are the hemispheric champion. <laughs> uh, basically the Western <laughs> Hemisphere. You won that at the Pan Am Games in Mexico. I mean, you're rocking. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're hopefully on your way to London in 2012? Yes, that is the goal. How are you doing this? Where are you getting the strength? And I don't mean the leg strength. Mm. I mean the internal strength to, to f just plow through it. I've always believed that, I don't know where this comes from, but I have always believed that I can do whatever it is that I want to do. Can I tell you, when I walked in the room, I, I looked at you, I said, she said, I could just feel it. I mean, you just threw this energy at me. This is not a victim. Mm. She's just gonna, she's taking over the world. Uh, and I, I don't know where that comes from. I, I can't say I that it. it was from any one particular parents, thing. Parents, maybe? My parents Siblings? are pretty awesome people. Yeah, I have an incredible team of people right. around me. Oldest, youngest? Baby. Baby, yep. out of four. Yeah. So, I mean, you must have been babied in more ways than one. I mean, think <laughs> I'm about sure it. my I mean, siblings would agree with you there. Yeah, but if you think about it, I mean, you know, when a child is born with a disability like that, there's probably a lot of fear. Little did they know they had a firecracker on their hands. Sure. But still, Absolutely. in those early years, wow. I, I think I attribute my success in a lot of ways to my family and my parents allowing me to fail to mm, try well things stated. and to fail. Let me ask you, Katie, about Hollywood, because I've spoken with a lot of folks who are involved in, is it the I Am campaign? Mm -hmm. I Am, yeah. I Am PWD. Exactly, mm -hmm. and um, lots of successes, but still challenges. Absolutely. It's not easy. I think it's interesting because being a performer with a disability, the disabled world, we're the largest minority in the country, right. but it's not reflected through the entertainment industry. And, and when you walk into auditions, do they necessarily know? I mean, if you're wearing jeans or pants, would they know? Not necessarily. Right. Um, Is it on your resume? No. Um, but it's interesting because there, I have trained and I believe in, in being a good actor and doing the things that you need to do, diligent, your due yeah, diligence to be a good actor. But there have been times that my disability has been a, an advantage for me. No doubt. And no it's doubt. gotten, I say, it's got, if whatever gets your foot in the door, even if it's a prosthetic <laughs> foot that gets your foot in the Bravo, door. Bravo, touche. I'm really glad to have met you. And I, I know this is a cliche, but you're an inspiration. Thank and you. And thank you for doing what you're doing. And best of luck in London. I know you'll be there. Thank you so much. You bet. Much. Her name is Katie Sullivan. My name is Brad Palmer. Thank you so much for watching Charter Local Edition. Great news! Beginning May 28th, Charter Local Edition is moving from Headline News to Charter's original programming channel 101 under the new title, Charter California Edition. Tune in at the following times for longer, more in-depth interviews with our elected officials, educators, and community leaders. More content, better information. Learn more about our community, our state, and our future. Charter California Edition with Brad Pomerantz. Stay current, California.